The African continent within the last nine months has witnessed a number of coups from countries such as Chad, Mali, Guinea, Sudan and Burkina Faso, with the recent being a failed coup attempt in Guinea-Bissau. The worrying development generated a statement from the ranking member on the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament, Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, in the House on Wednesday. He urged the ECOWAS and African Union to institute proactive measures in dealing with the trend. The only real solution to the coup epidemic, as the UN Secretary General calls it, cannot be AU and ECOWAS sanctions. African leaders need an urgent, bold and robust Marshall Plan to address regional insecurity, acute unemployment, lack of opportunities for the youth, marginalization, corruption, nepotism, proliferation of arms, insurgencies, dictatorships, economic mismanagement, foreign exploitation, and clueless leadership. Africa's version of democracy, which has been a sham at best in many jurisdictions, and has rather produced a political and economic elite beholden to nepotism, cronyism, corruption, opulence, and high-handedness, often lays with blatant disregard for the rule of law, cannot be kept in place. Mr. Speaker, it is time for the African Union and other sub-regional bodies such as ECOWAS to institute an independent monitoring and evaluation system that assesses the democratic health, stability, and economic well-being of member states for frank peer review as a proactive measure to forestall more coups. Earlier, the minority raised concern about the failure of the Minister of Education, Dr. Yaosei Educhum, for the second time to attend to questions in Parliament pertaining to his outfit. But the majority chief whip, Frank Anodompre, assured that the minister would be available on February 9 to answer the questions filed by the legislators. If you read the minister's letter, the last paragraph, it reads, Honorable Minister will be engaged in an official assignment. Why? Coming to Parliament and responding to Parliament is an equally important official assignment. Where is he? And then you bring us a letter only in the morning when you are supposed to be here to answer questions. Where is the Minister for Education? You don't write to us in the morning. You bring a letter in the morning when you are unavoidably absent. I assure the leader that we'll do the needful. I thought that we had had an agreement at Concrete, but be it as it may, uh, we were sure all the members involved. And I, speaker, I also want to guarantee that I've engaged the minister who has assured that the date communicated uh, will be respected and he will come to the chamber and do the needful. The National Democratic Congress Upper West Caucus of the House also addressed the media and called on the government to possibly reinstate the military security detail of the Speaker of Parliament. We seek, therefore, to urge the government to give adequate response to the worrying situation by the mirrors of the public to satisfy the complete security needs of the speaker, if even it will require the reinstatement of the military team that had been withdrawn unilaterally by government. It is our expectation that matters of security must be handled expeditiously with adequate consultation and discussions away from public concerns. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News.